So about seven months ago, I actually had the opportunity to buy an antique safe that I came across on a Facebook uh, group that it was selling. It was selling at a really great price here in the Des Moines, Iowa area. I've never had a safe before, uh, and this one was completely, you know, kind of beat up. I mean, it was uh, over a hundred years old. Uh, the, it had a really great story. The the person that I actually bought it from in a Facebook group, he uh, actually his father, I believe, was the one who pulled it out of a bar, um, and it just sat in the garage. He still had the combination, so I was instantly intrigued about this safe. And then I contacted a good friend of mine, his name is Parker K Kirkpatrick, and uh, asked him, hey, is there something that you could do with this safe before I buy it? Uh, is there something you could do to salvage it? And Parker, when you first saw this safe, when we were unloading it from this truck, what were your first thoughts? So my first thoughts was actually, it took me back to my childhood. Uh, my grandfather had a safe like this, and so I was really excited to uh, see something like this, uh, this old, and just get the opportunity to work on it. Yeah. What, now, what do you know about this safe? How are, how are they made? So uh, this safe was made about approximately 1860s. Um, I do know that the, the inside is lined with about a half inch of steel, and then they, they form a concrete around that. Uh, and then from there, they line it in um, a steel, and then they band it in some sort of aluminum, a very soft metal that looks pretty, uh, it, but it's strong. And then the inside was just all beat up and everything. It was still original, but it was just all beat up. Yeah, the wood was rotted. <laughs> yeah. And about how, how much was how much weight was this? I mean, because <laughs> it took a good four or five guys as we're seeing in this video. Yeah, I bet it weighs about 500 pounds yeah. or so. And I, I can't wait to show everyone in this video what the finished project looks like. Go ahead and watch through this as we go through the steps for you. side of the safe we're going to rebuild it originally it had wood uh, and it's kind of tore up and looking nasty and we want to revamp it so we're going to get the wood today so we're going to use uh, oak panels it's quarter inch so. all right so we're going to get some uh, corner pieces uh, it'll help us uh, secure the panels that we're going to build our shelves uh, so we're just going to get those two Make our job a little easier. Wow. Is that pretty cool, Noah? Yeah. Huh? Look at that, my ears. Well, no, it's going to go in Daddy's safe. It's going to be uh, the liner for the drawers. Is that pretty cool? But mine. Well, you get one drawer in the safe. And we're getting it here at Hobby Lobby. All right, so in the uh, last videos, you saw us getting the materials and different things. and. Uh, grinding the outside, uh, which that's the biggest part of this project is getting the paint off the outside. Now, how I had to do it was uh, I tried a couple different things, and my the fastest and best way I found was with a grind, just a standard grinding wheel. Uh, and after I got all, you had I went through a few of them, uh, and after I got done with all of that, I polished it off with uh, like a 120 grit uh, grinding wheel, which I have somewhere over here. Um, just to kind of get the uh, grinding marks, not all the way out, but part of the way out, just to kind of still give it that rustic look, but we want it shiny. Uh, and also for the shelves themselves. 
Uh, so that's currently what we're doing. Uh, we'll come back to you with the shelves part here shortly. All right, so this is our finished inside product. of the, the whole safe is actually finished, but this is what the inside ended up turning out like. Um, we already got the combination in, so we don't have to mess with that. And this is our inside product of what it turned out to be. It actually was a lot of fun and uh, it was a good little project, so. Well, on the insides, um, when I built the insides of these, I kind of used, I just used the same material that we built the outside of the shelf here with. <laughs> Um, and I lined it with uh, just a simple fabric uh, from, I think, Walmart, probably, is where they got it. Uh, they just really liked the way it looked with the uh, wood, and so that's what I did. Pretty simple, nothing too hard about it, really just glued it down and set it in there and stapled them together, so it's pretty easy. Turned out really nice. So this was a fun project. Uh, there's a lot of interesting parts to this. Some of the difficult things were the hinges, uh, where the soft metal is. I had to kind of work around that. Um, a big thing that you can't, uh, that you have to be aware of is uh, this is old, 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 old metal. So you have to just kind of go with it and just look for rustic and kind of be creative with it. So uh, this was a lot of fun. It really brought out some creativity in my mind. Uh, and I'm glad I just had the opportunity to work on it. Parker, I want to again just thank you for the opportunity uh, and helping me restore this. My family's going to treasure it for many, many years. Uh, and if anyone is interested in contacting Parker um, for different projects such as this, uh, Parker, where can people contact you? Uh, so you can contact me on my personal Facebook page uh, under Parker James Kirkpatrick. Um, yeah. And we'll leave the links in the description uh, of this video for everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video.